Okay, I'm going to talk about how to use a, a, a theme and then modify it without modifying any of the original files. And what we're going to do is we're going to create a child theme based on a, a full theme and it's going to only involve editing one file. So you'll be able to see how quickly and how easily you can create a new looking theme without actually having to know any PHP at all. You can't read that? That's a problem. Okay. Okay. This is the theme. We have just a demo site with no styles applied to it whatsoever. What's happening is I've created a, a really basic just starting point and I'll show you the files in just a second. And it's pulling in all of the, all of the content from the original theme, which in this case is the hybrid theme framework. But really you can do this with just about any WordPress theme. And it requires just one file. And this file is going to be located in a directory, just like another theme, in your themes folder within your WordPress installation. If you have a child theme that's packaged into a zip file, you can actually use the regular WordPress import, theme import to install it. And then you'd activate it just like any other theme. So at the top of the theme, you're going to have at least these two items. The theme name, because WordPress needs that to be able to recognize this as a theme, and the theme template. And what the template part does is it actually tells WordPress that this is not a complete theme. So anything that's missing in this theme, this is where you need to go look for it. And in this case, it's going to be in the hybrid folder, also in the themes directory. Okay. So part of using a, a theme framework is that they've actually done a lot of the work for you. So in this case, and in, and in any, in any um, theme, you're going to have style sheets that are located in the original theme. So you can actually import those style sheets because the styles are the one thing that you're not going to have come through as a child theme from the parent. So you need to create or import all of your styles in order to design your site. So we're just going to um, import a screen.css, which is the original hybrid um, style sheet, um, a, and a couple of other structural type style sheets so that you can, we can really quickly get a nice looking site. So now, I'm not a Mac person, I'm sorry. Nope, that wasn't it. What are you trying to do? I'm trying to refresh, I guess. Uh, command, command R. Okay. So now, instead of an uh, unstyled site, we have a site that looks exactly like hybrid. If anybody's ever seen the hybrid theme, this is what it looks like. Okay. So now, using the child theme, we can just add a couple more styles. We can add something to the body class. We can, um, I'm, I've already entered a few of these styles just to speed things up and I'm just uncommenting them. We can change the background color and I'm just going to change one other thing just to, to emphasize what I'm doing here. update that file and come back over here, refresh it and now it's a little hard to see but we have a blue background and we have a white body because without the body colored it was all just one color before and then I've changed the color of the navigation. So there you have a five minute child theme. recommend using these child themes because it's a great way to keep your uh, theme future proof. As your original theme developer adds new features to the theme, you overwrite that original parent theme and your child theme will almost always still work. You're not going to be changing your customizations. <laughs>